Kamusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Bounce and I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark. Also goes by Top Shot Boy. And in this episode, we have our special guest all the way from what? Like from Europe, Europe time. Thank you for taking your time coming here tonight. Top Shot Tandy, how are you doing? I'm really good. Magandangabi uh, kamustaka. Oh my God, that was perfect. I didn't even know you were going to come after. <laughs> That's a good surprise to all our Filipino audiences, which there's a lot of Top Shot fans actually that are from Philippines and all over Canada wide too. So thank you for coming through. Let's get straight to your Top Shot story. Tell me a little bit, how did you discover Top Shot? Where, who? Give us a, give us a glimpse of how the Top Shot came into your life. So this was during February. I was actually visiting my wife's family in Brazil. And my friend who I went to summer camp with sent me an article. It was the Bales article about how somebody bought a John Morant for something like $35,000. And I remember reading that and thinking it was a little bit crazy, but I signed up anyhow, kept an eye on the platform, but didn't really engage at all. Then one day he told me that he got a pack just for buying a moment. He got the gift just for buying a moment. So that was what made me purchase my first moment. It was a 15K Chris Paul assist. Uh, up to that point, I thought it was Looney Tunes to spend real money on digital video clips of NBA players. Um, but that's what got me started. And then uh, a few days later, I got my first pack, which was the Cool Cats pack with Tyler Hero in it. And I actually got that pack with him in it. And that just started the love affair with Top Shot and just the and excitement and the way the market was just skyrocketing right as I was getting into it. And everything I was buying was just skyrocketing. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I think I found something here. And, <laughs> and uh, I was like obsessed. In the first few days, I was very much obsessed with Top mm -hmm. Shot. Um, but that's how I got started. And originally, I did think it was crazy, like I said, and I was not about to go spend hundreds of dollars on a digital video clip. And I thought to myself, I'm only getting involved if I can get a pack. And that was my, mm -hmm. that was my idea. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I was lucky enough to get a pack. I mean, like I said, I, I bought that Chris Paul moment when my friend, from, my friend Mike told me that he got this gift pack for engaging in the marketplace. So I bought that Chris Paul moment for $4 thinking mm -hmm. I'm going to get a pack tomorrow because I bought this Chris Paul moment. <laughs> and of yeah. course that never happened, <laughs> but then I got the pack and I saw the values of everything in that pack go crazy. The Tyler hero every day was just skyrocketing in value. And that was when I thought, okay, there's something here and um, it's a very like volatile and speculative thing to be buying and selling, but maybe I'm, maybe I got in at a really good time. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start putting a bunch of money in that I would otherwise be putting on random stock market, you know, uh, gambling, so to speak. And yeah. I'm going to place it here instead. And, and I like, I like it. It's fun to use and it's very addicting and engaging. And why not? That was kind of the way I thought about it. No, I, we, I think most of us on our first experience had went through kind of the same uh, rodeo with Top Shot. And, and, but on your own, and how was that like, um, did anybody in your friends, the circle of friends aside from Mike, like what was, you know, what was it like discovering Top Shot for the first, uh, first time and mostly the, before anybody else? Like what was your experience like looking through the marketplace and looking through uh, Twitter and Discord. What, what, how, how did you interact and found out the community? Maybe that's a better question to ask. <laughs> sure. So the first part of that question is kind of interesting, which what you asked, which was like, who were you sharing this experience with? So first off, I was sharing my experience of buying with Mike, my buddy Mike. So I would basically just jump on whatever he was buying. He'd be like, oh, I hear series one is the thing to buy. I'm going to buy this random series one player. I'm like, all right, I'm going to buy it too. And that, that was like my strategy. Um, yeah. The second part that you asked about, like, who else was involved um, in this whole thing? Well, my, I was showing my wife my valuation and how it was going crazy for, like, three straight days, like, doubling. And, yeah. of course, that was insane. And, <laughs> and after that, I was showing the product. I was telling my friends about it. And they probably went through, like, a similar process where they were just like, I'm only getting involved if I get a pack. 
And that's pretty much, I think that's probably how most people start. And, and that's actually kind of ingenious the way it is now, which is you get a pack right away and then you get another pack right away. So it's yeah. really smart because that's what got me so hooked. And, yeah. and that's what, what's just there now. And, and the question about the community, um, I actually searched for information. I like listening to podcasts. So the first podcast I searched for and started listening to was actually the guys that own the moment. I, that was the mm -hmm. first podcast I listened to. And that's when mm -hmm. I started realizing, oh, well, maybe there's like a whole community behind this. And that, of course, led me to YouTube videos. And that led me to Discord. And that led me to Twitter. And it just grew, grew upon itself. That's awesome. I mean, uh, I am, us meeting through on Twitter as well was kind of amazing. Like, what was your f first experience like from what it is now to how Top Shot has transformed now, whether it's the community or the, the website itself and how it's utilized. What's some of the things that you remember back then that have, they have improved, whether it's the community sentiment or the, the website and the, and the Apple Labs itself? What, what are some of the things that you can point out for new well, users so out there that are watching? Yeah. There's so much to point out. I mean, we could spend an hour talking about that. Um, <laughs> but the things that stick out the most, I would say, is that back in February, the website would have a lot of issues. It would go down for like entire days. Oh, amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and so that was really interesting too, because that was like at the height of popularity. So mm -hmm. it would go down and everyone would be sitting on the sidelines like, oh man, as soon as this <laughs> thing opens up, I'm going crazy. And then that's what would happen. It would open yeah. back up and then boom, it, the, the market it would back up. <laughs> skyrocket again. Um, <laughs> so it was, that, that was kind of an interesting time period. And then... And then with the other thing you asked about, like what else have you seen that's changed in terms of like the community, that really has been the biggest surprise to me, honestly, because when I got involved in this, what I had actually been interested in before I jumped into Top Shot was this whole GameStop um, stock market Wall Street bets thing. So yeah. like I put like a couple hundred bucks on that, I think. And yeah. I was just like fascinated by this whole way of you could have like a community that invests together and there's this whole like side aspect of it all. It's just, it's not you just investing in something alone. Yeah. And then, and that has really exploded so far beyond anything I could possibly imagine in Top Shot. I never <laughs> could have imagined that the community in Top Shot could become honestly like the most interesting part about Top Shot. Like before <laughs> it was all about, ripping packs and buying and selling moments. And that's, and I, I was very much interested in that side of it. And now mm -hmm. I'm way more interested in like engaging with community and, and creating. And, and now I create videos, I put on streams. That's what, in, it, that's what interests me as much as the things that used to interest me in Top Shot. Mm -hmm. No, and you know, that I think um, the, the fact that we we're all, out there creating content and providing that source for new users or existing users and collectors of Top Shot to, you know, um, to guide them through their journey or to really find their ways into to, to the platform and, you know, find their, what they really want to get out of it, you know, whether it's collecting side or collecting a certain player, a certain moment or a team, right? And I think that's a, a good story to, to find out and to get into, right? And, and, you know, this is only our first segment, and I know we're, we're short a bit on time, so, but we're going to keep into the commercials now, but when we come back, we're going to go dive into the actual space, you know, let's look through some of your favorite moments, and, and when some of your favorite challenges that you've done, or maybe some of the interface and top shot that you can walk us through and show to our audiences out there. So for you guys, stay tuned, because when we come back, more top shot for you.